Did you know that the suicide rate among Native American youth is more than three times greater than the national average? Three times the national average. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss this growing epidemic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined today by Amber Richardson and Ryan Ward of the Center for the Native American Youth at the Aspen Institute. Ryan and Amber, welcome to the program. I wish it was under better circumstances. Ryan, let me start off with you. That number that I just mentioned a few moments ago is absolutely horrific. Why is that number so high? Well, it's a very complicated answer, but in uh, points to a long history of policies within the United States, but a couple of things to really kind of highlight is that no, the poverty level in Indian country and reservations is much higher than the national average. Graduation rates are much lower. Um, they're exposed to violence and neglect um, at a much higher rate. And so there are a lot of these different negative factors that go into that and really decrease the, the hope within Indian country. Is it a form of trauma and, and stress that perhaps maybe we don't see uh, in the majority population, that perhaps in the native population, it is so prevalent there with, with, with remote areas that that number is just so much higher? Yeah, absolutely. Lots of different stress, historical trauma, intergenerational trauma that leads to this issue. Amber, I'm not sure many people know that the number is so high and quite frankly that it really is an epidemic in the Native American community. How did you all get involved with this? How do you raise awareness about such a horrific number? Well, we got involved because Senator Dorgan was really passionate about Byron the Dorgan? idea. Yes, Senator Byron Dorgan. He was very passionate about suicide prevention um, in Indian youth while he was working at the Senate. Um, and he took a million dollars of his excess campaign funds to form the Center for Native American Youth with suicide prevention at the heart of their work. Um, so what we do is we use our um, position at the Aspen Institute and we use our platform online and elsewhere to kind of bring awareness to these um, issues. And uh, one of the things that we're doing is working with the White House Initiative on American Indian and Alaska Native Education to highlight uh, Native youth who are making a positive difference in their communities. And we also do that through a number of other programming. Yeah. Very quickly, Ryan, go ahead. Yeah, our Champions for Change program is a great way that we highlight Native youth throughout urban and reservation communities. They're making a positive impact, really addressing some of these issues that we talked about. They're so do you, go into the, do you actually go into the community almost as an immersion program, understand the culture and try to fix what's wrong, but also highlighting what's all the positives? Yeah, absolutely. So we go and we've had over 100 listening sessions with Native youth throughout the country. Both of us are tribal members ourselves, so we understand mm -hmm. Uh, cultural norms and things like that and so it's really a hands-on approach we go and talk to young people directly we have about a minute and a half left Amber um, how can folks that perhaps may, are maybe not Native American uh, that are interested in this topic or perhaps maybe are Native American how can they get more information well you can find us online at our website www.cnay.org you can also find us on Facebook we're also on Twitter um, Center for Native that's the number four um, and that's a good way to tap into our work, um, see the things that we're doing, see what's happening on the ground, and especially see what young people themselves are doing to combat this issue. You know, Ryan, all too often we read in the news and obviously on the television of all of the problems that are happening uh, within the Native American community, whether it's alcohol awareness, whether it's uh, casinos, whether it's uh, lacks, lack of uh, access to broadband internet. Uh, let's talk about some of the positives in a few moments that we have left. What are you doing? Yeah, so we've got a, a great program where, like I mentioned, the Champions for Change program where we're lifting up Native youth and giving them opportunities to engage with the White House. They have professional mentors that are leading them on and expanding their programs that are on the uh, ground level. So education, health, housing, all different types of things and they're addressing these issues head on and we're trying to give them the support and connect them with the folks that can help them do that. Amber and Ryan, thank you very much for bringing this very, very important topic uh, to light. It is something that we have to do a better job uh, of raising people's awareness. So thank you again. Keep up the great work. Thank, right, thank you. you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.